So welcome back. Thanks all for joining us. And we are here talking with um, um, about some really cool new ventures. Introduce yourself and tell us what you're doing. My name is Jordan Trokey. I am a Western manga studio owner. Um, I have founded my own company to create my own manga. I am a writer, so I write all my own stuff. I team with artists from all over the world. Cool. And we've been trying to push our stuff out and we're trying to get it big enough to where we can actually animate it and make it into a series on Netflix or Hulu or Crunchyroll or something, one of the big, big dogs like that. That is very cool. Yes. So by Western Manga Publisher, can I unpack that a little bit? What, what's your intention? Sure, there? sure. So originally I was doing this on my own, um, of course. I can't draw at all. I've tried. <laughs> it's horrible. So I had the realization that people actually can draw and want to draw, not maybe their, their story. So I found some people to help and we kind of started building. And as the years went on, you know, we did more social media and people were really liking our stuff. Um, so recently, this year, actually, we started to take submissions from writers and artists. Nice. And we want to step into that game of maybe publishing other people's dreams too, such as mine, mm. and seeing what, what happens there as well. So that's our, our secondary venture. The first one is more trying to maybe get into the animation world mm. a little bit cool. and build up the foundation of the capital to be able to actually do that. Okay. Yeah. So that's, this is our first you know, real print run of a lot of our series to see what we can do. Yeah. Cool, cool. So how does that work, um, starting with sort of the publishing side, sure. how does that work in terms of folks submitting things and then actually doing work for Yes, the of course. Um, now, we've had a lot of submissions. Mm -hmm. um, now, the thing is, right now, we are figuring out what, if we're going to have specific genre or focuses for the company, which a lot of my stuff is kind of dark, send in violent, fantasy, you know, a lot of that stuff. So what we do is online our website, fallenbangstudios.com. You, there's a submit box that you can actually put in your story. It, it has a bunch yeah, of stuff nice. that you can submit. And it goes to us and you know me and some of my other friends or family members that are helping me do this. They will, we'll, we'll kind of look over it and see if it's something that we want to take on. Um, our first project, Maidens of Hell, that one's actually was just a writer that contacted us. And we were able to find an artist and we kind of made their first issue and we're starting to publish it now to see what happens. So we're learning a lot uh, doing that. Um, but it's something that is, I feel there's no oil companies doing that over here at all. There's not. You know, and this kind of started, this whole thing started because I wanted to submit something and I really didn't feel like there was nothing there to do that with. Yeah. You know, if you're not doing superheroes, you know, there's not really that much going on. So. Yeah. I decided let me just brand it myself and then I can write my story the way I want and I don't have to kind of conform to certain things. Yeah. Now I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but I guess we'll hey, figure that out as it goes absolutely, along. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Now one of the things that I, I love about the way you're doing things, which I know a lot of folks when they, they hear that they think, oh great, I'm going to do a lot of work for free and then maybe I'll see $10 <laughs> in three years. Yes. Um, but you're doing things a little different than that. Yes. we. Um, you know, I came to the realization that I had a six month battle in my mind of do I try to sell this first or do I give it out for free? And I've kind of come to the conclusion that as much as you don't want to do this, giving out the pages for free once a week online is kind of what I've been doing. Sure. People read it and people will want to support you. They'll buy yeah. the real book. People want to have it in their hand. Yeah. So that's one of the things that I've decided is let's do it, you know, release them weekly yeah. mm -hmm. and printing them out. People will buy, people will buy it. You know, they yeah. want to have it. And coming yeah. to cons and stuff, you, yeah, I've seen people read my stuff online that came up. Yeah. Oh, I know what wow. that is. So that's a, a really good feeling to see yeah. that something online like that actually can feed into getting a sale from a book. Right, absolutely. So it's, it's cool. Yeah, and one of the things that I like that you, that you did is like, um, we were talking about earlier, like, yeah. like you actually pay your artists. Uh, yes, I know. <laughs> it's, you know, there's a few ones that when I kind of started, I didn't have a really good day job to where I could afford it. Sure. So we do, some of them are like split. We split the sales mm. and I give them, and then other, the newer books were just, I'm just paying them out of pocket just because they get their money, they can live, you know. Yep. And I'll figure out the rest as I go along. <laughs> but it's, really it, it seems to be working pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. awesome, that's awesome. So talk about the animation. What, what, what are the plans Sure, there? sure. So my main series is called Death Sin. Um, I know you guys took some photo of that earlier, yeah. so you'll, you'll probably show it. But that story is our most popular one. Mm. Um, it's a kid who's a half demon who's stuck in between our world and this other side of, of him. Mm. His demon side actually takes over him when there's like a crime or a sin oh. being committed, a really bad one. And it rips the person's soul out and then you see them in hell getting tortured. Mm. So it's pretty graphic. Mm. If, if I'm gonna write hell, I have to, <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I gotta go there. So yep. you get to see what happens and then what he finds out is there are other half demons. There's even a human organization who hunts demons and half demons. So he's stuck between the supposed good guys 
and the bad guy. And what's he going to do? Is he going to follow the dark way, or is he actually going to maybe not do his own thing, or, or maybe try to help people too? So it's a story of him kind of coming into who he really is. And the thing is that he's tortured by this other, because he sees all the punishments. His humans, he remembers that he sees it. So he has to live, he's trying to live a normal life in the middle of all this craziness. So That's cool. It builds from there. That's our main story that we're kind of pushing um, yeah. right now. Um, our goal is to get the readership out there enough and build enough capital in the company, at least money, for, and I'm going to finance a like a two-minute trailer of Death Sin. Gotcha. Either maybe like an anime opening music in the back, you know, all that. And then I'm going to use it to pitch it to a studio to try to actually get them to commit to it soon. So. Nice. Um, and by then we'll have enough books. We have four done. Um, there's, I have about 20 to 25 written in my, you know, out on paper. So we're going to kind of go from there and just try to get it animated. Because and now that's really the big draw in animation. Sure, yeah. absolutely. Do you know how you're going to um, make that animation? Um, well, you know, a year ago I did step into looking at companies and, and seeing how much this costs. And it is, you know, it's a lot of money to get it animated. Yeah. So I kind of figured instead of doing an episode, why don't mm. we do just a trailer? So mm. I'm feeling that I will either... I think I'm gonna kickstart or do something to okay. get yep. at least some of it done, yeah. paid yeah. for, and then I'll pay for the rest, mm -hmm. and then I'll use that to just kind of pitch it and, and see. And I think that by then I'll have a few more volumes done too, mm -hmm. so I can show, hey, there's a storyline, here's the artwork, here's the trailer. Yeah, help me make this. Yeah. yeah. Well, and that's great because you know, on the one hand, folks can look at that and say, well, a, he's putting some of his own money into it. Yeah, so we of know course. that. Yeah. And then also, he's got fans putting money into it too. Yeah. It's a much and, stronger and, and it's showing that there are fans for this genre, and there's our fans that like this story. Yeah. So, I'm. That's my goal of the next year coming up is to launch a Kickstarter around it and really have something concrete that I can show that there are fans for this. And you know, figure out where to go from there. That is very cool. Yeah. Um, is the plan movie, TV show? Um, I would do. You know, I kind of got inspired by Rooster Teeth and their RG. You know, mm -hmm. that yeah. they're doing their own thing. I think we could do that, and that would be popular. Mm -hmm. Online is so big yeah. right now, so yeah. I think that could be something. I mean, I'd be open to anything. Yeah. yeah. That's not my world. Is, is not that, <laughs> but I will. I'll step in and see what whatever works. You know, Netflix, Hulu, Crunchyroll, yeah. all that. Yeah. True. Yeah. That's very cool. So what other plans do you have um, moving forward? Or is that kind of... That's really... I mean, that's the life? main... That's the end goal game plan yeah. for, for the stories, you know? Mm -hmm. um, the rest of it is just building the readership. You know, getting it out there, getting people to see it, getting people to like it, talk about it, share it, you know, getting it out there. Um, I do have them on my website. You can order copies and we'll mail them to you. Cool. Um, but there's a real good site that I've been using called topastit.com, mm -hmm. and it's on my website. You can link to, you know, links to it. And they have an app, and it's kind of like a web comic site. Okay. Um, but I put them on there, and if people, you know, you read it for free. Mm -hmm. If people, if they view it, they give me some ad money too to try to nice. help that out. So that's yeah. one thing that I kind of push a lot is and you can read on your phone and tablet. So yeah. it's, it's cool because it's out there for everyone. To see. That is awesome. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. the future. Yeah, <laughs> get on it, right? Get on exactly. Board. Cool. Yeah. Well, we'll have links to all that um, on the video. Thanks very much for doing this. I really appreciate it. Thank you, it. man. I appreciate you guys. You Thank bet. You. Take care. See you guys.